What's this knob do? No one had to properly atone for anything back then. Hey there guys, Opti here. And in today's video, we're doing a tutorial on Hammer Editor. And what Hammer Editor is, it's a world editor that comes with Source SDK on Steam. You can build worlds with it. Uh, it's a little old, outdated, but people are still using it. So I'm going to go ahead and give a tutorial on how to open up Hammer Editor for Day of Defeat Source. And how to familiarize yourself. And we're going we're gonna to start building uh, our tutorial level here. And then we'll do episodes for that. So episode one is finding the location path for Hammer Editor, opening Hammer Editor, and then familiarizing ourselves with the tools. The second episode will be building the world uh, itself, or at least starting to build the world. So the floors, the walls, the ceiling, um, any skybox textures, anything along those lines will be the second episode. Third episode will be lighting, adding in spawn areas, um, like adding in people, respawn zones, stuff like that. So go ahead and follow along in this tutorial. If you already know how to open Hammer Editor and Day of Defeat Source, you can pretty much skip this video. This is really just for the people that have never opened it before, have not used it before, or are literally getting started and they're having issues. So what we're going to do is obviously you're going to need to have Day of Defeat Source installed. You're going to have to at least run it one time. I would say run it one time, play on a server, 10 minutes, whatever, quit it, blah, blah, blah. Now we're going to locate the hammer file. So that's the hammer editor to edit Day of Defeat Source games. We can do this on Steam. However, there's a, it, there's like some sort of bug that happens. So here's how you do this. You're going to open up your menu and go down to your start area. Um, I usually just go to a folder, but if you have a start button, click the start button and then find your PC area. It should be up in the little scroll wheel. Mine's on this folder, I've got the PC, so mine's going to be under Windows C, we're going to locate that area. Inside of Windows C we will find Program Files 86, or x86, whatever the hell you want to call it. We will locate Steam, then Steam Apps. Inside of Steam Apps, go to Common. Inside of Common, locate Day of Defeat Source, because that's the game that we're going to be editing for, so you can follow along here. Once inside of Day of Defeat Source folder, you'll see bin, DOD, HL2 platform, HL2, Steam App ID, third party uh, notices, third party legal, legal notices. We're going to click on bin. Inside of bin, scroll down until you see something that says hammer with this little hammer logo. It's the one in my bottom right side of my screen here. Double click on that hammer. Uh, if it comes up and it says, uh, oh fuck, what does it say? It'll say something about, do you want to use this for Dave Defeat Source or Half-Life 2? Go ahead and click Dave Defeat Source. It should open this area right here. We'll go into File and click New. And bam. Now we have a grid. If you do it the Steam way, in some cases it will give you issues and give you an error saying that there's not any, uh, any path files or anything along those lines. So if you're having issues with that where it's giving you things where it says that there's that there's an alternate path file or it can't find a path file or it's just telling you that you can't fucking use this thing, what we're going to do is go into file, or uh, sorry, go into tools, options, and it's going to need to find the right directory. So obviously our configuration is going to be for day of defeat source. And then where it says game data files, it might not have the DOD FGD there. So we're going to click add. And this is where we're going to need to look for it again. So we're going to just start from scratch. We'll go to the Windows C, program files 86, Steam, locate our Steam apps folder, go to common, Dave defeat source, locate our bin folder. And then inside of the bin folder, you'll see base FGD. DOD FGD and Half-Life 2 FGD. We're going to click DOD FGD. FGD. Damn, that is so hard to say five times fast. Mine's already there, but if yours does not have that there, go ahead and add that. Select Apply, obviously. Now, uh, the rest of this should already have the, the areas that it needs to. So just go ahead and click OK. Exit Hammer. Reload Hammer. Now, with this uh, hammer right here, I've created a shortcut to my desktop. 
So go ahead and do that because that's going to be the easiest way to locate that instead of having to do this every single time. It gets extremely exhausting and extremely annoying trying to go through the file systems. So we'll exit that. We'll reload the hammer if you have that issue. And like I said, this, this tutorial is just for people that are literally opening up hammer for the first time. If you're having those issues, if you're having... Here, let me see if I can get the issue. Let's see. Go to games, view games, library, tools. It's already on there. Source SDK. It's already running. So right here, it's the source engine. Dave defeats source. If I double click this hammer editor, it'll bring it up. And then I click new. It's going to tell me this failed to load the default scheme file. The map views may be missing. So if you have this issue, this is where you would come in here. Go into the tools, the options, etc. Make sure that those are all in the areas that they need to be in. However, I, I just recommend going to the bin area. That's the easiest way to do it. So anyway, we're going to open Hammer. We're going to do File New. And now this is going to be our, our setup here. So for the very top left, this is our camera view, our three-dimensional camera view. Um, we can change this to a 2D top or a 2D any view, but I like to keep this one 3D textured. So if that's not on 3D textured, go ahead and put that on 3D textured now. For our top right camera view, we'll have it on top, X, Y. For below top, we'll have it on front, Y, Z. And to the left of front, Y, Z, we'll have that on side, X, Y. For these three, these are all two-dimensional, so make sure that those are on 2D. For the most part, we're not going to be using this flat not going to be using the wireframe really not going to be using the shady texture polygons i don't really use a lot of those things um, at the very top here what we're going to do is make sure that this object uh, texture lock is clicked in that means that if you put a texture in a certain area and you move the object the texture is going to stay locked onto that object if you made any sort of modifications to it if this little R with the circle is clicked in and beveled in like that, go ahead and unclick that. What this does is it um, it, it pretty much only renders in-game what you can see in your camera mode here. So, uh, maybe in a later tutorial I'll explain a little bit more of what that does. It is optimal for small maps to have that on, but for much larger maps... Um, I don't recommend that unless you definitely know what you're doing with area portals and whatnot, which we'll go into in much later tutorials as well. On the left side of the screen here, you'll see a series of tools. What these tools are, are our world building tools. So we'll start from the top, go to the bottom here. Uh, for the first tool, we have our selection tool. The hotkey for the selection tool is Shift S. That will allow you to select any objects in this three dimensional view. Or if you have any objects in the two dimensional view, if you select the outline of the object, it will allow you to select that as well. The second tool is our zoom tool or magnify, Shift G. Um, I don't really use the magnify tool too much because I can just zoom in and out with the scroll wheel. I'm, I don't really see any sort of issues with that there. Uh, Shift C is your camera tool. This is just another way to get around the map here. Um, in the three dimensional view, by the way, if you have the camera tool or the select tool selected and you're in the three dimensional view, you can hit Z and you can move around in the three dimensional view. The scroll wheel will zoom you in and out, and the W, A, S, and D keys will move you around in this three dimensional view. Clicking Z will unlock you from the, the three dimensional view. The fourth tool on our left side is our entity tool. Shift E is the hotkey. Uh, this is going to be where like lights, um, respawn zones, objects, you know, barrels, vehicles, things like that. That's where this is going to come in. And like I said, in the next episode, uh, we will be. Let's see, yeah, I believe we can fit in, in the next episode. We'll be going over that here. The fifth tool is our block tool, Shift B. This is going to be the main mo fucking tool you're going to be using the entire time in Hammer. So this is your world building buddy. This thing is everything from the top to the bottom to the walls to the sides to the floors to the ceiling to the skybox to the sun to whatever the hell else you want it to be. The sixth tool on our list is the toggle texture application tool, Shift A. That's a tool that allows you to change different faces of a block. So if I had a six-sided cube, I could change each individual face of the cube. Um, next tutorial, we'll go over this uh, this tool specifically. 
Um, same with the tool below that, which is our Apply Current Texture tool. That will change the entire block that you have selected to whatever texture that you have selected in your texture browser. Below that is our Decal tool, Shift-D. That one's pretty self-explanatory. Any texture that you have selected, it will place a decal onto whatever surface that you put it onto in the three-dimensional or two-dimensional view. The one below that is our Overlay tool. That one's a little different. Um, we'll go into overlays in a later tutorial as well. And below that, we have our Clipping tool. So if we have a block in the area and we want to have that block at a 45-degree angle that we cannot create in this, we take the clipping tool and cut it. Now, like I said, this is literally just a tools explanation video for for the beginners. So if you if you already know all this stuff, skip it. Don't leave any bad comments. You know, what have you. Literally just for the beginner guys and girls. <laughs> On our right side, we have our texture browser tool. Um, what this tool is going to allow us to do is browse the world's um, textures that we have available to us. So right now we have Day of Defeat Source as well as Half-Life 2 textures available to us because Day of Defeat Source is a modification off of Half-Life 2. So if you go down to where it says Filter, you can type in anything here. I'll type in Concrete <coughs> and I will get Concrete or anything that has a Concrete tag or a uh, a concrete look to it um, and you can pretty much type in anything into this filter and find it you can type in wood <coughs> there's tile there's a whole bunch of things if you're looking for the orange and gray uh, textures that a lot of people use that would be under the filter dev dev for developer and if you scroll down you'll notice that there's just a, a lot of orange gray white very bland dull textures there those are actually some of the most famous in and most well-used textures in source games for uh, custom modifications. All right, so go ahead and click on over to the next tutorial. It's going to be episode two. It's going to be the building blocks of Hammer. We're going to be doing literally everything from the floors, walls, to the ceilings. Um, I'll explain a little bit about skyboxes. I won't go too much into detail with that because that one should require a full-length video. Um, I'll try and keep the videos under 15 minutes because I know how it is with tutorials and watching them over and over and over again. It gets very annoying. But stay tuned for the next video. We will see you then. Go ahead and drop a like and subscribe and, and a love and a comment to us so I don't cry anymore. Opti out.